Being a self-defender means paying attention to put yourself in the right place to be able to do the right thing. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I am your host as always, John Correa. And I am ASP CEO Stephanie Widener, and today's lesson is out of South Africa. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. South Africa has some gnarly carjacking, so you know what's coming. This person in a really nice Audi pulls up, starts the gate opening, watch the person pull in behind them, and as soon as the doors open, our Audi driver realizes what's coming, makes a hard right turn, and nopes right the heck out of there. And uh, our carjackers, because they've gotten out of the car, they're like, uh, shoot, and they are way behind. They didn't go inside the complex. They got out of there as well. No car was taken. We got a couple important lessons here today. I don't know, Steph, do you think that owning an expensive car makes this kind of thing more likely? Uh, I'm sure it probably does. I think owning an expensive car seems to make people more likely to think through how they would defend themselves because this person didn't hesitate. Yeah, but whether you own a really nice Audi like this guy or a crap bucket, let's think about lessons. Interesting thing to me on this, Steph, of course, as soon as you pull into a spot like this, you're in a transitional space. And I know some people are going to think, oh, this is South Africa, but we are seeing carjackings like this happen in Detroit, in Los Angeles, all over. Every major metro is experiencing huge increases in carjackings. So you notice here that our driver gives themselves a little bit of space in that transitional space in order to have some ability to maneuver. And I think that was really wise. I think that's really wise in every scenario, even when you're you're stopping anywhere. Always give yourself a few options when you're in your vehicle. Don't pull up so closely to something that you are trapped there. He does a great job of that. And he's also continuing to be aware of the surroundings that are around him. Notices that this car does not continue to pass on the road, but rather slows down and stops and is ready to react immediately when the car door is open. And how many times do we say attention buys you time and time buys you options. And so listen, instead of just watching the gate duh, or, you know, sitting and listening to the latest bebop tunes, pay attention to your world a little bit. See what's going on in your side view mirror, in your rear view mirror. And when something's not in order, you got to do something. Now, what would be not in order? I, I think this is perfect timing because as soon as he sees the doors open or she this driver makes a change. You see that hard right turn and go. You don't gotta wait till they're pointing guns at you. You know something bad is going when they pull up behind you and jump out of the car. We don't have any idea if they have guns. They may, they may not, it doesn't matter, but this guy makes a great choice regardless of what they're doing. He never even has to engage in any type of defensive issues other than defensive driving and getting out of there. It's a really great example. Uh, of being aware of your world, giving you a huge head start on the problem. And I really think this evidence is pre-planning. So this is a, a driver who says, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space. I know what my exit plan is. If those guys jump out of the car, I'm gone. I am not gonna stop in here. I'm gonna hit the, the gas immediately if those doors open. When those doors open, they did. So again, when we talk about proper prior planning prevents poor performance, this is exactly what we are talking about. Have a strike point. Okay, if they pull up behind me, a door's open, I'm gone. They could be somebody lives in my complex, so if they just pull up behind me, okay, fine, but the door's open, I'm out of here. And that's exactly what they did. Now, of course, that caused for a great outcome. Boogie, hard, drive to the police station, get on the phone with 911, whatever. But also, you gotta think about the fact that the gate is now open. And now I think this is a multifamily housing complex is what it looks like to me, like townhomes with, with garages or whatever. But especially in a single family environment, you want to probably get on the horn with your family as well. Tell them what's going on and make sure that they get that gate closed and they're safe. I couldn't agree more. And I think he did a great job. They ended up being after the car. So they took off. This guy took some time to, to really figure out where his risks were, found a plan to mitigate those risks. So he was able to react immediately and he really covered his ASP. 